hope. I would not try those noodles if I were you. Definitely not. No. No. Hi. Looks like our plan worked perfectly. This is the famous Diamond City, is it? Interesting looking place. Nice though. Yeah, it's uh, it's a real jewel. It wasn't always like this. It used to be different. Before people moved in? And unless you mean, I'd heard rumors about you. Are they true? Yes, I'm a papsicle. Yeah, sort of. I was born over 200 years ago. But I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. That's truly amazing. I've met pre-war ghouls before, but their memories were faded by time. If you were frozen, the years before the war must seem so recent to you. You have to tell me, what do you remember from before then? Honestly, I'd prefer not to talk about it. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't think how hard this must all be on you. My curiosity got the better of me. I won't press you on it. Anyway, now I'm safe, I'll have time to analyze the data. It shouldn't take me any more than 24 hours to do it. You can go and do your own thing, or just sit around and wait until I'm done. After I've had a good look at the data you've got me, I should be able to finally fill you in on my project. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, sit in this stool right here for 24 hours. No, I don't want any noodles. No, thanks. No, I still really don't want any noodles, I'm really sure. No, not now. Glad to see you back. I've sorted out the holotape data, so I'm ready to fill you in on everything and answer any questions you've got. I'm sure you know the Brotherhood aren't originally from the Commonwealth. I was recruited by what I suppose you could describe as a rogue chapter of the Brotherhood. They'd been sent east in search of technology under the leadership of then Paladin Owen Lyons. When he captured the Citadel and discovered Liberty Prime in DC, he was promoted to Elder. Over time, he began to realize how important the Brotherhood could be to the ordinary people of the Wasteland. I used to live in a place called Rivet City, but I joined up with Brotherhood. I was inspired by Lion's message of peace and safety for all. Rivet City must be post-war. Yes. Rivet City must be post-war because I've never heard of it. Oh, it was a giant you know ship. the name of every pre-war city, do you? But yes, you are right. It was built in the ruins of an old aircraft carrier. I moved there after I hung up my Wasteland Explorer gear. At first, the Brotherhood were just trying to stem the tide of super mutants crawling all over the city ruins. Eventually, things changed when a very special person showed up at our gates. Their father had been working on a project named Project Purity, which was intended to bring clean water to everyone in the wasteland. Yeah, suddenly, I'm getting weird flashbacks, like, uh, I was there, but I wasn't there because I don't remember meeting you, man. See, obviously, he's referring to Fallout 3, which uh, took place in DC. And has the same brotherhood of steel, although their ghouls were a bit different back there. They were like trying to give out free water to everyone, and uh, they're out here to kill sins. Quite a different ghoul that is, but uh, that seems pretty noble. Your cause seems noble. Yes, I think so. It's just a shame not everyone seems to agree. We overcame all the odds and managed to do it. We recovered something called a gek, which we were able to use to purify the water. It was my proudest moment in the Brotherhood when we took Project Purity and later defeated the Enclave. I thought it would be the end of all the suffering in the Wasteland, but I was wrong. Owen died and his daughter Sarah took over, but she died in combat shortly afterwards and Maxon took over. There was a group of people who didn't seem to think that helping the people of the Wasteland was a worthy cause. They chose to leave Lion's Brotherhood and became outcasts. Under Maxon's rule, they rejoined. Cliff Peterson was one of them. I was promoted to Paladin under Lions while he was stuck at Captain despite having served longer than me. He always resented me. I think that's why he worked so hard to get me thrown out. That brings us right up to now, and my project. Right, so what is this all about? Like, what is your project here? I hope you're ready to hear this, because it's very ambitious. Well, don't keep me waiting. Over the past decade, the Brotherhood have been involved in two high-profile conflicts. One I've already told you about, Project Purity. The other one I've only heard about. Our Nevada chapter was solicited for assistance in a battle for something called Hoover Dam. My plan is to combine those two projects, and my iBot was scanning for suitable locations. My analysis of the data has shown that it found one. 
We have to travel to Boston Dam at the eastern edge of the Commonwealth. If we can get it working, we can change the lives of everyone who lives here. Okay, so your plan is to produce power as well as purify it? Is that what we're getting at? I'm pretty sure that's what he's getting at. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? There were a few things back in DC I had to give up, but I'm not dropping this one. If we're going to turn this thing on, let's get to it. I love the enthusiasm, but I doubt it'll be easy. I'll follow you. If you want rid of me, just let me know and I'll head back here. Um, right, so what do we do? Travels to Basin Dam with David. Now, who do I shoot? Maybe I should go talk to them. They have to know they can't get away with that shit. Don't come any closer, friend. This doesn't concern you. Please, help! They're going to kill me! Shut up! Uh... So, what's happening? This thing's a synth. That's what. We've been traveling with it for weeks. But then today, he finally let slip that he's an Institute errand boy. The whole fucking time. Because I thought you were my friends. I'd never be friends with a damn synth. You already were friends with the synth. Now please, just... Just let me go. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? You're just gonna run off and get your institute buddies to come put us down. That ain't happening, pal. I'm not with the institute. I ran away. I, I just need to get to Bunker Hill. Then, I swear I will never bother you again. Please. You believe me, right? You can't let them do this. Mm. Release it. Yeah, let's go with the threatening rails. You don't need to be afraid of the Institute. You let him go, or I'll kill you both myself. Jesus. You're serious. All right. But if I ever see you again, I'm putting one right between your eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just... Get the hell out of here. Yeah, we did some real good here today. Anyways, now get out of my damn dam, okay? This is our territory now. Alright, here we are. Let's head into the operations building and see if we can find out how to get this thing working. Alright. Uh, I think that terminal is uh, kind of broken. So what do we do? Shayef Engineers Terminal. Uh, that's a weird title that guy's got. Shayef? It's probably like a combination between Chief and Chef. Right, mission statement. Internal mail. Am I gonna have to read all this? External mail. Turbo pump. Alright, there we go. I don't know what I read, but it's something about a turbo pump. So we probably got to turn on the turbo pump. That sounds pretty logical. There's a, a picture frame of an elk right there. I'm gonna go take that. Uh, I'm gonna go take that too. Right. Um, have you found out what we need? Yeah, something about something a turbo called pump. called a turbo pump. A turbo pump? I've never heard of one, but if we need it, we need it. You're in charge of finding it. I'll hold down the fort here. Man, I, I told you you were lazy, but this just takes the fucking cake right here. You're literally gonna sit here and sip at your goddamn soda while I risk my fucking life out there to get your pump working. Man, jeez. Red, what can a chief engineer as a turbo pump in his house? You gotta wonder. Oh, apparently he's still alive. Alright, you better have a damn good reason for coming into my house. Uh, I'm looking around for a turbo pump. You expect me to remember something I did 200 years ago? You're fresh out of luck. Well, it doesn't really seem like you've done much uh, renovations to your house since then, so uh, I'm sure you haven't been awfully busy. Persistent, aren't you? I'll admit, I know where the turbo pump is. 
but you can't get to it. It's in the master bedroom, and that's all locked up. Uh, persuasion. It's important, and it'll benefit you. Just trust me. Uh, all right, just don't change anything. It's laid out just how I want it. The turbo pump is on the table next to that stupid model dam. Since you're going up there, could you maybe give me my watch? I left it on my bedside table. What the fuck is up with all these lazy people? He's just sitting here. I gotta get him his fucking watch. Like, you walk up the fucking stairs, man. It's not that difficult. Man, I told you, you're everybody's fucking errand boy in this game. Okay, this is slightly creeping me out, but I think I know what happened in here. I think I know what transpired. Excellent. And, uh, it's, it's kind of disheartening. Never mind what I said about being lazy. This is, uh, this is pretty fucked up right here. Got a bunch of diaries. Do we have an audio recording? Well, there's a lot of reading in this, so there is some backstory. I'm just really lazy when it comes to reading, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go deactivate that one. Um, is there anything else interesting in here? But yeah, this is a pretty pristine room right here. Pretty beautiful. I mean, don't mind the skeleton right there. Go take a nap real quick. I'm kinda tired. Alright. Hell yeah. Let me take the watch too. Man, I'll let this one slide. David is still a lazy piece of shit though, but uh, this guy, he's, uh, he's uh, okay. Hey. Oh, you're back. Have you got my watch? Yeah. Yep. Got it right here. Thanks for doing that for me. I suppose you'll be off now that you've got what you want. Um, yes. I'll just be going. See you around. Maybe. See, that guy's voice acting is, uh, okay. Overall, the voice acting in this mod is pretty good, though. Um, aside from the volume thing, and I'm not sure if that is easy to fix. One problem I do have, though, is that the player character's voice acting is kind of just shoehorned in there because they're going off of what is already in the script, so... I think it would have been better if they just got with a mute player character and just typed in their own lines, but, uh... I don't know, overall, this mod is pretty good so far. Aside from David, he's a lazy piece of shit. Man, I told you guys, you gotta get off my fucking dam, okay? It's private property at this point, so Ringo... Well... Oh, my leg. My leg. That's better. Oh wait, don't get angry with me. So, come on. I mean, I told you to get off my property, I got rights here, okay? No, you stop, shoot stop shooting at my pet flamingo. Alright, we gotta put this down. And people are just so rude these days. Uh, Ringo, he's already Ringo, Ringo, calm down, Ringo, Ringo. Hey. Just, uh, just calm down, okay? Just calm down, buddy. Alright, well, apparently Ringo's in a vicious mood today. Anyways, we got the turbo pump, so we should be all good to go. Although, inevitably, something else is probably wrong with his place, so we're gonna have to do some more things. I'm assuming. Have you managed to find the turbo pump? Yes. That's excellent. I was worried you might not be able to find it. Now all that remains to do is install the pump. At least I hope that's all we've got to do. While you're away, I poked around in some of the old files and had a look in the reactor level. You should be able to install the pump down there. And this, I have to install the pump because you're not going to do anything. Repair. Use terminal. Calibrate. that it? I mean, if that was it, that was surprisingly easy, actually. M normally, these quests have, like, a bunch more hoops you have to go through in order to get something working. Like, everything is just broken. I see you've got the turbo pump installed. I've been getting readings up here that the system needs to warm up. I've no idea how long that'll be, though. At a guess, I'd say we'll have to wait six hours. We can just hang around here till it's warmed up, and then we can see what state the filters are in. 
yeah, if it's all the same with you, I'm just gonna go wait outside. I mean, I don't really feel like chilling out here with you. I mean, you're kind of a lazy piece of shit, so... Uh, I'm just gonna go sit by the body parts in the campfire. Alright, much better. Just wait here for six hours. Alright, well... I'm getting readings that the dam is all warmed up. Why don't you do the honors and start it running? I'm telling you, man, like, this, this guy... This fucking guy. Yeah, let's blow up this dam. Warning, purification filters damage. Warning, toxins detected in water. The dam isn't starting up. Do you know what the problem is? Sure, here you go. Let's see that print out. This looks like a bit of a problem. It's saying that the filters are blocked and the purification system is damaged. Clearing the debris shouldn't be too hard. Repairing the purification filters might be a bit more of an issue. I have no idea where we might find a new filter. The best I can suggest is that we try factories until we find one. If I had to take a guess, I'd say Poseidon Energy Facilities are our best bet. If you want me to come with you, just say the word. Sure, why not? Yes, come with me. Alright, let's head <laughs> out. Sounds a bit too excited there. Jesus. Alright, remove the debris. Man, it was too good to be true that we'd be done before dinner. Man, that was surprisingly easy. <gasps> right. At least have to go to Poseidon Energy, so that is gonna be here. It's probably gonna be a wild goose chase. Holy sh I know these factories are just so dangerous, it seems. So yeah, I don't know, I kinda wanna ask you as to whether or not you know where the hell I can find some filters in here, but tell me about yourself. Tell me about you really yourself. wanna hear more about me? I suppose I can tell you a thing or two. Uh it would be nice to know you more. Over some dinner. It would be nice to know more about you. You mean like hobbies and things? You're yes. probably more interested in my backstory. I guess I could drop a few bits and pieces, and if you want to know any more, you can ask. I guess I'll start right at the beginning. I was born in the capital wasteland in around the year 2249. Perhaps it seems strange to you that I don't know exactly when I was born, but the place I grew up in was little more than a hovel. Both my parents were farmers, as far as that word can apply to what they did. We grew these horrible, nasty corn things. They were terrible, and I mean terrible! It didn't help that the water and the ground were radiated to hell. Uh, tell me more about the capital wasteland. You mentioned that you're not from around here. Tell me more about it. Ah, uh, the capital wasteland. In many ways, it's a lot like the Commonwealth. Wide, desolate spaces. I'm sorry to have to tell you, but the capital you once knew is completely ruined. It's crawling with super mutants and talent company mercs. The mall is full of trenches where the factions fight for control of the capital building. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. That's terrible. It really was. Things got a lot better after we switched on Project Purity. Tell me more. Alright. We live close by this other settlement, by which I mean hovel, obviously. Just one family lived there. There was another lad about my age who used to live there, and our parents would let us play together. We played in a junk pile and made games out of whatever crap we could find. One day, we found this old holotape player and a bunch of holotapes with it. They were audio recordings of some show about elderly soldiers, I think. We didn't really understand it, but we used to listen to them over and over again and try and imitate the accents. We'd never heard voices like them. Our parents used to find it so annoying. If the wind changes, it'll stick like that, my mother used to say. I didn't really understand what that meant, but she must have been right, because, well, mine kind of did. 